Good evening, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another rage video where tonight, ladies and gentlemen, this is um gonna be a bit of a, a pretty cool one because this is going to be my my very first tasting grime music, and this is coming to you from Grime Daily, and it's I, I almost caught for, caught a whiff of like uh, the title for a second uh, it's by a guy called Northside Benji. I thought this was like, is it is it Desi who's a KSI's brother? Uh, it, it pro I think I think it, I think that's who it is. But if you don't if you don't know what Grime is, ladies and gentlemen, I'm I'm guessing it's more so like uh, like South of England uh, rap, except. Well, again, that kind of just illustrates sort of like my ignorance to the whole subject, really, unfortunately. Now, with that being said, since we're here, we may as well see for ourselves exactly what the deal is. And the song itself is called 5am in London. Now, I'm going to I'll get into like a little bit more about this later, but I kind of I, I kind of like the title just because of the imagery it sort of evokes like. Especially at this time of the year, when we're, we're past the halfway point in February, we're on to the, the final stretch of winter, and spring is actually not too far away. So it, it gives you the opportunity, it gives the opportunity for like, you know, the early, the great early dawns, and just, well, the sort of, the sort of things that make you wish that, you know, it was uh, late March already, and but even getting into April when really spring starts to begin. So we are going to begin our journey into grime right now, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, links will all be in the description down below. So let's begin. 5 a.m. in London in 3, 2, 1 and Let's see what you got. Benji flew to London to film one in the chamber. Here are some extra scenes captured while he was there. Oh, so this is when he was on tour then. I told my niggas stay up off the phone Cause I heard it's time on the line I told my brother that I'm coming home Even though I'm miles from the guys mm. I'm feeling like I ain't been in the kingdom in a minute And I got it digits to spend a thousand on linen And I got it digits to all these drugs, what a feeling And I got it digits to the mud, but what a feeling I came from dirty crack houses and dope dealing I'm in the back of warehouses, I'm dope dealing I came from bald heads in it like I'm Krillin I'm trying to tell you and I got a bitch mad, busted like Mona Lisa Riding like this flash, my niggas in key And I got a bitch mad, begging for me to keep I had to call my doctor, I got the money fever Call him all the partner, I need me another leader Don't know where I'm going, I'm just going I could kill us if I ever see you Don't know where I'm going, don't know where I'm going So one of the things that I actually kind of like about this a lot is that it's kind of like one of those songs where like the party is starting to wind down and everyone is maybe thinking about going to bed or thinking about exactly, you know, maybe we should start thinking about how exactly we're going to get home. And it's it, it, it sort of captivates as well a little bit of like the magic that sort of can, that could happen in any night in any city. You you might go you you could visit a prostitute you could like go to a some a, a, a brothel or go to a crack den or you and you can get this in literally any city in the world ladies and gentlemen and then there's plenty of escape out there in the world and it, it, it kind of it, it's it even this this actually you know what strangely enough this almost reminded me of like the opening line of a story I once wrote 
Like, you know what's worse than, you know, having a wank at 3 p.m. on a Friday after on a Friday afternoon? Is that that's literally what your life has straight up come to when you've got nothing better to do at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday and you're masturbating. But this, I think also the same applies is that what on earth can you be doing at 5 a.m. in the morning on, on, any, of, on any other day? So I, it, it, is, it is a more of a... Uh, Again, a winding down sort of thing. And that's kind of cool because it doesn't mean to say you forget everything that happened in the night. It's just this is sort of the thing that just it keeps, you know, keeps you aware that the night is over and the, the day is coming. Well, that was a that was a very different experience altogether, ladies and gentlemen. And I I like that. I I, I thought it was a very di it was something different. It was very innovative. It was it was. It, listen, I remember straight up. I I one show that absolutely I I just decided to start getting into two years ago was this show called Top Boy. It was originally like a Channel Four show, and then it was brought onto Netflix, and they did like a. A continuation with uh, you know uh, uh, Deshane and uh, uh, Sully, and it it's 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 I think it's it's fascinating like this this all underground world of you know uh, of, of of you know a uh, uh, food pushing and you know earning your peas and stuff like that. Not to mention the fact that I'm pretty sure even one of the producers was some was a grime artist as well. And what's kind of cool about this is that. It's the, the the scene, especially even in London, for, even for people who just were here very briefly in that, they seem a lot of the influences, like a, a lot in like crime, uh, grime, and just the, the, the influences you hear in London sort of come through in all this. I, it, and I, 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 I will, it's the, the, the beat was super captivating because, like I said, it gives you the impression that. You've been partying all night, and now here you here's here's got here's some here's a here's a a friendly reminder that you know get to get to bed at some point, and then you, you get you get this guy you get this guy, Benji just you know just shoots shoots with the lid saying you know I I've been I've been I've been out here working and that all my homies are all thousands of miles away, and before you know it, ladies and gentlemen, you get you, you kind of get exactly that maybe he's not really partying at all maybe he's just working or maybe it's not work at all maybe this is just play for for, for benji so i'm impressed i'm impressed with that i'm i must say for for my first real experience into grime i was i i, I could take that indeed i it would certainly be really interesting to see what you guys thought and to see when we can do benji again you know what i'm saying should come back to London some other time, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not from London or anything like that, but I recommend it. <laughs> so anyway, I hope all of you guys have enjoyed this reaction video to 5am in London by Northside Benji. Please make sure to leave all your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below and what you guys thought of 5am in London for yourselves. And I can't wait to see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.